Again, there are five steps for costing crushed impressions. Make sure you write them down and include them on your cheat sheet for exam number three. To repeat, step one is you're going to calculate the number out on a sheet. We're going to use this for step two to calculate the total number of sheets required for a printing job. We have to complete steps one and two because we need to know the total number of sheets. If for some reason the question on the homework or quiz gives you the total number of sheets, you can skip steps one and two. Steps three, we calculated the total number of impression impressions required for the job. And once we know that, we can move on to step four, which is calculating the time or the number of hours that your job will be on press. Step four, we're going to divide the total number of impressions that we calculated for step three by the impressions per hour that our printing press can run. Now, you're not required to know that. It'll be given to you. So if I tell you that a printing press can run 10,000 impressions per hour at $600 per hour, you can use that to calculate the total number of hours and the total cost for a printing job. Please take a minute to write down this formula, total press impressions divided by impressions per hour equals the total time your job will be on press. So we established in the last example, or the first example since we're working on two different examples, that 142,848 press impressions are required to print 1,500,000 postcards. They will print 4 over 1, CMYK on the front and black on the back, 21 out on 71,429 sheets of 23 by 35 inch paper. How long will this job be on press if the press they are going to be printing on can run 12,000 impressions per hour. I'm going to write impressions as IMP in all capitals. Make sure that when you submit your homework and your quiz, you do the same. So the formula to calculate the total time this job will be on press is 142,858 press impressions divided by 12,000 impressions per hour. When we divide 142,858 by 12,000, the answer is 11.9. If for some reason you came up with a decimal that is 11.965321, whatever it happens to be, you should round the number to two decimal places. If you would like to get the answers correct on the homework and the quiz online, you have to round properly. So for this class, if the, the answer is, let's say, 11.9645, the answer would be 11.96. If it was 11.964, uh, I'm sorry, 11.965, you should round that up to 11.97. However, I would still accept 11.96. However, on Canvas, it will not accept it as a right answer, so it will mark it wrong, and I'll have to go back and correct it. Why don't you try example number two on your own using the same formula? When you're ready, play the next video to see the answer.